gorgeous girls. I cannot believe it. It's almost the end of the year and we're getting closer to Christmas. It's so exciting. But anyway, today I'm going to show you my top five makeup and beauty products for the past month of November. Let's get started. You all know that I like to start with skincare because I am obsessed with skincare. I think that if you have beautiful skin, then your makeup looks amazing and you don't really need that much of it. So my first favorite has a little bit to do with the colder weather and it's this. It's by the Rego Lodos Pharmacy and it's the Hyaluronic Gel 40% with Vitamin E and Hyaluronic Acid. The thing is that um, it's gone really cold now. It took a long time to get cold here in Spain, but now the cold weather is here. And I have found that my skin really noticed that change in the temperature. So this gel has been amazing. It's a really, really sort of light gel that is absorbed very quickly into the skin and it's just so hydrating. It's such a wonderful gel that you can even use it mixed with your favorite foundation uh, and like that you make it even nicer to wear. It also has vitamin E which is a great antioxidant so I think this is a wonderful product indeed. My second favorite is also skincare and I really wanted to include this because I believe that everyone should have this if you've got chapped lips and it's this it's the very famous Rev de Miel lip balm this is by Nooks it's a French pharmacy brand and apparently one of these is sold every single minute it's just that good um, the thing about this balm is that it's really thick and matte and um, when you apply it at night when you wake up in the morning it's still there that is how amazing this balm is I've tried many other different balms but when I've got really chapped lips, this is the only one that seems to work, it's magic. It does smell a little bit of honey, which if you like is fine, my fiance hates that, um, but it just does such a good job that it's well worth every penny. Well, for those of you who are more into makeup than skincare, don't worry, I'm starting with the makeup right now. The first favorite has to be this, for sure. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self-Made Palette. This is a limited edition palette. Run and pick it up if you haven't already because it will run out. They have it on Beauty Bay at the moment. Just look at the combination of colors in this palette. It's so much fun. If you would like to see it close up, swatches and a look, make sure you click the link down below in the description box and like that you can read all about it on my blog. I've just been enjoying using this every day because it's got lovely neutral colors, very wearable ones, but there are also some bright colors which make it a little bit more fun. So definitely very, very well worth its price, very good quality, just so easy to work with and pigmented, top. Now onto my favorite makeup product, I have to admit, which are lipsticks. And the first one that I'm going to show you is what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's by Guerlain, really, really high-end lipstick, but it's just amazing. This one is in the shade Gwen, number 69. And actually this lipstick I did not purchase for myself. Uh, a girl asked me to buy it for her, but then once I had bought it, she didn't pay me. So in the end, I decided to keep it myself. And I have really been interested it this past month. It's a lovely dark red. It doesn't look too dark on my lips, which a lot of these uh, tend to do. The formulation is really, really lovely, really creamy, very comfortable to wear, and I love the fragrance of it. I don't know what it is. So it's a very, very high-end lipstick. Guerlain have done a wonderful job with the formulation, and I don't know why they, they are not more famous than they are, really, because it's a wonderful formulation. And finally, the last product I'm going to show you today is another lip product, but you see I have been using it a lot, and it's this. It's by NARS, and it's one of their satin lip pencils, and this one is in the shade Descanso. This is a beautiful color because it's sort of like a peachy nude. I also have Biscayne Park, but whoops, 
it's nuder than that. This one is a little bit peachier and I really like it because it really suits my warm skin tone. It makes my green eyes pop. I think it was limited edition. This one is a smaller one, not the original size, and I got it last year uh, in the Christmas collection. And these lip pencils by NARS are just so easy to use. You just draw in your lips. It couldn't be any easier than that. Well, those have been my top five makeup and beauty products for the past month of November. Now we're heading towards Christmas. I'm really excited. I would really love it if you told me down below if you've got any Christmas goodies that are makeup or beauty related and what you're really looking forward to. Thank you so, so much. Please press thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's completely free and you make me really happy. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.